Hey guys, this is Erica the Goober, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you a little preview of my next Etsy shop update. So it's been quite a while since I've done my last shop update. Um, I think it, the last one was in August of 2020, so it's been a little bit, but I, um, I was going to call this an unboxing video, but I kind of already unboxed them. So this is just kind of a shop update preview video of some new goodies in my shop. So first I'm going to start out with these 8x8 prints. And I did get all of these prints from Cat Print, my usual printer. Um, I will say they are fantastic and they give you free hard copy proofs with all of your print orders. So um, all of these are my proofs that I received and we're just going to go through these one at a time. So first we have Izzy, my beekeeper witch, and I actually drew her in 2019 and I never got a print made of her. So finally she is in my shop, perfect for fall. And I've always loved the colors on this one. Uh, it's super cool to see her like in print finally. I also have a sticker of her up in my shop as well. I'm actually going to move these so I don't like spoil anything. Okay, so next is Venti from Genshin Impact. I know a lot of you guys liked this drawing on Instagram so I got him made as a print. I think I'm gonna say this a whole lot, but the colors on this are super nice. Like the reds and like the sunlight kind of pop through um, over here. So I, I think that's really cool. And it, it has like a painterly feel, um, which I think works really well in this print. And lastly, for the 8x8 prints, we have a little Paimon to go with Venti. So Paimon is also from Genshin Impact. Super, super cute. Alrighty, next I will move on to the biggest batch of prints that I have. So these are my 8x10 prints and the first one is the Wildlife Mermaid from Mermaid this year. Uh, we have a lot of mermaids coming up in this shop update. So um, this one, this mermaid in particular, I've drawn her three years in a row. So the first time she had like a seal um, companion, the second one she had a flamingo and this year she's got a little otter. And it's very cute. There's a bunch of otters swimming around her. But yeah, she's like one of my favorites. Next, we have a Princess Peach print, which you might recognize her from Mermaid 2020. And I did get a smaller print made of her, but this year she is coming back as an 8x10 print because I know a lot of you were asking if I had a bigger size of this one. And now I do. And next we have the neon mermaid this one was a lot of fun to draw like doing all the different neon effects she's kind of sad she's got some like sparkly tears uh, but i was really inspired by like a jellyfish on this one if you can't tell next we have the sweets mermaid or the macaron mermaid or some people say macaroon um I just recently learned that these are called macarons and not macaroons, so I've been calling them the wrong thing my entire life, but um, either way, I still really like this one. I love the pastel colors in it, and to be honest, I think I might frame this one and put it in my studio because it's just so happy and colorful. Next we have the Honey Mermaid, and uh, this one was super fun to draw, like all the honey uh, dripping from this waterfall and the honeycomb pattern on her tail. Um, but yeah, I used a lot of different kinds of like textured brushes on this one, and you can definitely see that like in the print, they turned out super nice. Next is the Sunflower Mermaid, so another one with bees in it. Um, so she kind of like matches with like Izzy and the Honey Mermaid. So they all have like a lot of bees in the, um, the prints. If you're into bees, these are the ones for you. But um, yeah, so this is the Sunflower Mermaid. I think the sunflowers especially turned out really nice on this one. Again, like with the textured brushes. Looks super nice and the colors just really pop. The last mermaid in the 8x10s uh, is this 
bathtub or rain mermaid, or I think I'm gonna call it the rainy day mermaid. Uh, so she's super cozy reading in a bathtub with some nice fall trees in this rainy window. So she's got some candles and it's just a super cozy scene. But I know this is one of your guys' favorites from Instagram uh, that I posted for mermaid. And all the details like really show up nicely as a print. Like I love how this window turned out. So I do have one more eight by 10 print that is not a mermaid and it is Isagi from Sailor Moon. So I actually did this as a like coloring challenge and um, I provided the lines to you guys on Patreon for free for like anybody who's even not a patron, you guys can go over there and color that. I'll link that in the description if you are interested in this coloring page, but I ended up coloring it myself and I made a print of it because she's super cute. So next we have some five by seven prints and these two are actually voted on by patrons to be the print club prints for, I believe this was July and this one was August. So uh, patrons got those first plus all of my digital Patreon content. Um, and as you can see, these are a couple mermaids that are also available in 8x10, but these have these rounded corners and I just recently started doing this for the print club and I love them so much. And this paper is a little bit different as well. It's like a little textured compared to my normal satin paper that I use. So yeah, these turned out really nice. I love them. Um, and like I said, patrons got these first as well as this print. So this is my Hufflepuff Rapunzel print, also perfect for the fall season. So this was September's print for Patreon. Um, and the extras will appear in the shop until I run out of stock. One last mermaid from the 5x7 group is the Moon Mermaid. Again with the rounded corners, like I think it looks really good and like the textured paper. Um, turned out super nice, especially those clouds, like that pink really pops off the page. Next we have this print of Klee from Genshin Impact, and I do also have a sticker I will be showing you of her, but I think she also looks really nice as a print. Super, super cute. Last for our 5x7 prints, we have Mila the Barista Witch. So she is a pumpkin spice latte witch that I designed during a live stream uh, last fall and I thought she would make a super cute print, especially like this time of year, like it's the beginning of the spooky season. So um, I thought I would make a print of her because I really like her and I think she looks really cute. So that is it for the prints. Like I said, they are all from Cat Print and uh, these are all of my free hard copy proofs from placing my order with them. If you're an artist and you are interested in getting art prints for your own shop, I highly recommend them. And I have a referral code in the description if you want to get $10 off your order. Last but not least, we have our new stickers. So um, the first one, of course, like I said, Klee from Genshin Impact. She looks super cute as a sticker. Like I'm tempted to put this on something, but I, uh, I feel like I can never commit to like sticking stickers on things. So I normally just hang them up, but yeah, here she is. Very cute. And next we have a venti sticker. So it's the same drawing from the print, but this is just a sticker version of venti. Next we have this ramen mermaid that I made for Mermaid 2021. And a lot of people say it looks like Sailor Moon because of her little buns um, and like her hairstyle, but uh, it wasn't intended to be Sailor Moon. It just kind of happened. Um, she's got like little pieces of shrimp in her hair. So um, yeah, I just thought it was too cute to have her hair like in little shrimp buns. And last but not least, we have the Strawberry Milk Mermaid from Mermaid this year. Uh, this one is actually a little bit different because it's a matte finish sticker. So the other ones were vinyl, so they were um, a little more like shiny. And then this one's a matte finish. So it's really soft and it's like a great feeling sticker. But I thought she was perfect as a sticker since I didn't really draw a background with her. And uh, I think she turned out really cute. All these stickers are from Sticker App, by the way. I normally use them for all my sticker needs unless I make them at home myself with my Cricut, but they're always fantastic. So I keep coming back for more stickers. 
But that is it for this shop update. So there are 21 new items total. You can find all of these items in my Etsy shop by visiting the link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.